This is Quran from D5. I'm really excited to show you our smooth workflow with Revit. To get started, please install D5 Converter from Workflow section in D5 or from our official website. We have three Revit files, streets file, landscape file, and our project file. In a typical Revit workflow, we tend to have multiple links that generate the whole BIM model, either to manage file sizes or to follow a certain standard. As soon as you open Revit, you will notice right away the D5 Render tab. You'll also notice three buttons available. Start D5, which itself is the main initializer to D5 Render, Settings, and Export D5A. Before we start, let's get into the settings first. The first one is Use Survey Point. Now, this is a very important option to activate when using linked Revit files especially if you want to have more freedom editing each file separately in Revit and sync them back to D5, retaining their correct coordination system. Of course, those files should share the same survey point. The next option is use consistent colors. The results in D5 would appear to be matching the consistent colors visual style in Revit. You can simply sync it as colors and then apply your textures in D5 directly. Lastly, the export smoothness. I want to bring attention to this option and how is it being misused by the community. Please do not increase the export smoothness unless you need it to. And if you want to have certain elements to behave smoother than the others, you may simply isolate those elements and export them in an increased smoothness. All right, back to our example. Let's hit start and give it some time to send data. And it's done. We can also sync our Revit cameras. Let's do that. Just hit Sync Cameras and your Revit cameras will be transferred as D5 scenes. Pretty awesome. Now, we need to start assigning materials and placing some assets, either from the D5 library or your local one. We are done. Now this project looks much better. And of course, if you want to make any changes in the project, you can simply hit Sync and your changes will be reflected back into D5 automatically. In this example, the design is good, but it looks like a bit dimmed. Well, basically, there are no lights. So, we can either place those lights manually in D5 or we can use our already placed lights in the Revit model. To do so, simply hit Sync Lights. Great! Our lights are transferred into D5, and also they are organized based on the family type in Revit. For example, in D5 browser here, we can see that the lights are grouped in multiple groups. How did we do that? Well, in our project here, we have those lights separated as family types for about each two or three levels altogether. So, D5 respects this. It's really up to your imagination. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We surely hope you'll be able to produce stunning renders with D5.